Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and today we're gonna to be unboxing this month's Yarnable and ALC. So it's April or May's, what month are we in? It's May's Yarnable, but April's ALC. Get that out of the way. So I am filming this on May 1st, Monday, May 1st. Uh, I have no idea when this is gonna go live. Everything, everything, I'm going to, I'm going to do a quick, like, uppy date, because I'm not sure if this is going to go up on Thursday the 4th, or on Saturday the 6th, if I'm going to get anything else that I planned on doing done. I, so last week, last Thursday, nine days ago, 10 days ago now, so not last Thursday, Thursday before last, we had our cars broken into. This Sunday, nine days later, we had our garage broken into. So it's been a little um, hectic and crazy over here. There's been a lot of stuff that like I don't want to be dealing with going on. And then on top of that, I, I'd originally, I was like, okay, I didn't have the energy Sunday to film because my brain was just not in the space to communicate properly, appropriately. And I needed to pre-film at least six videos because my husband's having surgery this week. Minor outpatient, no, no big deal. Just he's having a surgery done. And I had wanted to dedicate most of this week to getting prepared for that because I know that's going to be kind of lifestyle upheaval for the next couple days. And I also wanted to not have to worry about the you know, kind of like set and forget the channel for a few days and kind of focus on that. Well, I ended up breaking a tooth yesterday too. So I've got to go tomorrow now to get this taken care of. We've got all the pre-op stuff going on and we're both just sitting here like the last thing we wanted to have to deal with was cops and detectives and calling people out because we're not sure if somebody's still in our garage or not. So it's just... Nothing was stolen in either event. We had, my husband's car was tossed when our cars were broken into, and he's been building a model, rebuilding, trying to repair a model that got broken when we moved here four years ago, and that was decimated in the floor. So they've vandalized things, but haven't stolen anything, and they haven't come into the house. But we've had a couple other occurrences where our security cameras are picking up unusual movement and stuff, but we can't really see past the foreground on certain things. So it's just been an event. So I may or may not have a show and tell as, as I'm, it may be next week before I get a show and tell this may be Tuesday or Thursday, the fourth video. I don't know if it is the fourth, may the fourth be with you. If it is not the fourth, I hope your star Wars day was fantastic. But anyway, that's three minutes of, so if I seem harried and in the spook your spring make along video, if I seemed harried and a little like not right, not just in my, to be fair, I am very, very excited about my make along, but not only am I kind of like jacked up excited about that, but we've had just so much background stuff going on that like I said in the, the, the typing on my last show and tell video, it's a good thing I pre-filmed that video because I ended up having to deal with that Thursday morning. So yeah, it's just, and it's not just us, like there's a band of thieves that have been like going through entire neighborhoods. So this wasn't like a personal attack. This is just, anyway. On to happy things, because let me tell you, these packages contain some very happy things. So first off, let's go with, I think I frequently end up going with the Yarnable first, so let's go with ALC first this month. I 100% purchase these out of pocket. These are things that I have purchased. I will have a link of where to purchase the ALC or sign up for the wait list, and there is a link in my affiliate links for Yarnable. So please feel free to check those out. Both of these, I will say hands down, are worth joining the wait list if you like what you see. They both come in multiple different weights. You can choose your weight of yarn. Um, and the extras are just always on point. They're 
very, very good. And while I don't eat sugar, my husband has enjoyed every snack that came out of these to the point the toffee, the coffee toffees we got from ALC a couple months ago, he went out and bought a jumbo box of them because he liked them so much. Yeah. I tried the carrot cake uh, toffee from Yarnable and that was amazing. I got a little nibble nibble. So anyway, I did laugh when I saw this. So th my ALC just got here today, but I did snicker when I saw this because I just placed an order with her to get some more skein codes. So this is um, Precious Knits. I absolutely love the fabrics of her choice. I did maybe purchase some Halloween themed ones for a certain um, make along with a certain theme. Check out me the first video. But um, I absolutely love these skein coats. I'm using them for a lot of projects. Actually, hilariously, this is the last one we received in ALC last spring, and it's in my sweater make-along project, which is actually the next video I'll be filming. So look forward to that coming out. I think that's, that will actually be May 14th, I believe's video. Like I said, I'm really trying to pre-film some stuff here. <laughs> it's, I'm trying to be organized so hard. But I absolutely, she does. She just has beautiful fabric choices. They're absolutely stunning. This is another thing that I have gone back to repurchase. That's why I say the extras for these two boxes, when I did review them, and there are full reviews here on the channel, they were very highly reviewed because the extras are really good. They're unique. They're things that you're going to use over and over again. And the yarn. If you've never stopped by for one of these, I do try to match these up with some other of the previous month's yarns. Skizzers. We have an organic peppermint tea. While it's great on the matte things, the extra lighting does tend to be a little shiny on shiny things. Um, skin coat, scissors tea as you guys the name of this one is spring wonders i've told you guys before so nikki always dies perfect carry colorways this is not normal for me this is very normal for me <laughs> these kind of work but they're not you know to my best advantage colors I'm grabbing the wrong spot. I don't want to tangle my, my hank. Where you go? You go on this side. But this, see, just adds a little bit of extra pink. Beautiful color. Absolutely beautiful color. But look at the special speckling in there where you've got that hit of the neon. I can't tell if the color she used, I think it's a neon yellow she added in there in the speckling, but it just adds so much dimension. I cannot wait to see how this actually knits up. She does do a lot of her dyeing based on crochet as well. These are crocheteable yarns. So I think that's absolutely wonderful. To uh, I always forget to point out that she is originally a crocheter. So when she started dyeing yarn, I don't even know that she knew how to knit yet. So a lot of her hand-dyed yarns are crochet compatible. I think that's one of the reasons why she likes speckling so much. Whether she realizes that or not, I think that's one of the reasons why she's drawn to speckles. Other than just like speckles are magnificent. But they do show up beautifully in crochet work. So I can wax on poetic and absolutely try to get you spellbound with my horrific ability to communicate, but that's my ALC. Chef's kiss, absolute perfection. I have not had a month where I did not love it, so once again, 
Next up, we have Yarnable. And once again, I, like I said, both of these were very highly reviewed. They both, I, you know, I really loved them to the point that I continued paying for them after I did my three months review, if that tells you anything. So first off, I love these. I actually have a whole bunch of these in a larger size that I use for my paper crafting when I have a bunch of scrap left over that doesn't fit in like a little box. I actually use the large version of these. The zippers on these are fantastic. And I know that sounds like a stupid thing to be very picky about, but I am a bit of a zipper snob. I cannot stand when zippers snag and stick on things, which is why I generally prefer to see companies either purchase a uh, Notion pouch or use drawstring bags because I don't trust people's zippers. But once again, that's that's a carryism. The other thing, so we have now had two insanely clever markers, project markers. So on this side, it's needles. On this side, it is hooks. On this side, we have a whole bunch of jump rings and we have a double lobster claw. So you attach this to the ring associated to the hooker needle you are using and you, you can hang that on the bottom of your project. Is that not just absolutely insanely clever? Love it. I just, hands down. Absolutely, you could not tell me this is not brilliant. Love it, love it. Up next, it is another repeat accessory. And this is, so the originals, I ended up buying some more of. Not necessarily the gingerbread men, but I had to go with another company as this company is based in Canada. And I did not want to pay the shipping. But this month, they're little unicorn point protectors. They are so cute. So one of the reasons why I, I use the gingerbread ones, and I think I'll try to catch, snag a picture but I think I'm using mine right now or they're in my caddy because I just took them off one of my projects. But I I may have just stuck them on my socks. But anyway, these can be, depending on how small your needle is, you can slide them all the way through. But because these are soft and malleable, they don't poke in your bag. They actually hold onto the needle. These say that they fit from a US to a two and three quarter millimeter up to a US 13. I have only put them on needles up to a size eight. I haven't had a cause to put them on a larger needle, but where I've been hand knitting hats and stuff, these have been absolutely brilliant. They're also great. I've been trying to work on my two at a time socks and this has also been, I love these. Once again, it's a repeat type of accessory, but I'm never going to complain with that. It's, it's one that's good. It's one that's good and it's one that works. I don't like necessarily getting things over and over again that are like, anybody has them kind of cheap accessories in a subscription box. But when it's something like that, that really works or the skein coat, I am down. So the next thing we got is a Unicorn Dreams Whipped Bath Soap. So I will probably actually use this as a hand soap in my bathroom. Because believe it or not, that's another thing I'm kind of picky about. But you can see it's blue on the bottom and it's pink on the top. I guess it doesn't hurt for me to go ahead and... Uh... No, this isn't really one that comes off easy. Ooh. It says rub all over wet skin and pay attention to your hooves. Rinse off while enjoying the scent of rainbows. It smells sweet, but I can't smell enough of it to identify. Ooh. Honey, almond, strawberry raspberry. It's very juicy, very sweet, but it's got that very amaretto-y 
raspberry scent to it. It doesn't, other than it smells like rainbows. That smells nice. <laughs> that smells real nice. I have a, it's kind of like when you smell pineapple. Pineapple can sometimes smell like berries. You know, I just had that set of scissors sitting here. Anyway, it smells very nice. So that will probably go in my bathroom as my next hand soap. I go through a lot of hand soap in my bathroom. And the yarn this month from Cheryl is called Unicorn Dreamscape. You can only imagine what this looks like. But you won't have to imagine for long. So instead of going with like a Lisa Frank unicorn, do you guys remember that uh, unicorn picture? It was real popular in like the late 80s, early 90s. It's on a purple background with like stars and the unicorns. And it's a big, white, majestic unicorn. That's what this reminds me of. I had that poster as a kid. And the era of the lavender and coral girls bedroom which I also had a lavender and coral bedroom, but absolutely beautiful. I am, believe it or not, not sure this matches any of our previous yarns. This may be our first actual pastel yarn from either one of these dyers. So that is also kind of fun, but this is absolutely beautiful. It's so soft. It's so pretty. I can only imagine how this is going to work up. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of this. I always think shawl, but I'm actually thinking maybe hat or cowl. Anyway, I'm going to take two seconds to go see if this matches anything else. Or see if this matches anything else. I know one for sure that I think this might be fun with. But I'll be right back. Okay, so this is kind of funny. Um... The things that I pulled, I did find one yarnable that it's a little bit of a push, especially with the uh, gold that's in this one that works with this month's yarnable. This is uh, Laughs More, Worry Less, but <laughs> it looks really good with Candy Painted from ALC. I really like those two together. Those with a... Um, Maybe blush and cream together would be really, really pretty. And it also looks really, really good with Oatfully Mine. So if you went from like a blush on this side, a blush and cream to this color to this color, oh, that would be really pretty together in a project. But I found two two ALCs that worked with the Yarnable. And then we, our ALC this month would look amazing with Yarnable Mermazing. Yarnable Born to Stand Out. I really like the play on the speckles to speckles. It looks great with Yarnable Love Language. That's very good pairing there. This is the one I was initially thinking, though. A project with these two together would be fun, especially with the crossover of that bright yellow. This is Raven. But... That really, especially with that green down here, I think would be spectacular together. So that's really funny. I found four yarnables to match the ALC, or I thought would look good with the ALC. And especially if you did something where you maybe had, use like love language to balance in between these two. And had like another, like maybe a tonal hot pink. You could do a really fun fade with that. But I did think it was funny that that was four yarnables to match the ALC. And two ALCs to match the yarnable. And like I said, the one yarnable that I pulled, they've got a lot of the same tones. But I just don't think that gold and brown quite work. But these together would be absolutely spectacular in a project. Especially if you did this number. But unfortunately for me, <laughs> these two are when I was still ordering the DK weight, and this is a fingering. So, 
but those colors, if you have the Oakley Mine and Candy Painted from ALC, the Unicorn Dreamscape from Yarnable this month, and I know there are a couple of you guys that also do the same thing and you doubled up on these guys. Those are spectacular together. I really, really like those. And see, you're bookending with the, especially if you put the Oakley Mine in the center, you bookend with the pink tone crossing over the pink tones there but you go from the the blue to the blue to the purple tone to the purple tone and then you bookend with the pink oh I guess I hit my table again anyway once again we have a smash hit nobody is surprised that I love my yarnable and my ALC again if you've been around the block on my channel a time or two you've seen it happen before and you know I just I can't these ladies just do an amazing job every single month and every single month I find myself just drooling over the possibilities. I know I haven't made anything since I reviewed them with the yarn. I am aware, but I am enjoying this opportunity to be able to like share matching them up. I do intend to start making stuff with these. I have a couple ideas that I have been mulling around and playing with fades or maybe there's a two at a time fingering weight sweater that I've been thinking about. And it's a, uh, it's a reversible sweater. And I keep thinking, I think I need five yarns to get the size I need. And you know, something like that could be a lot of fun, especially if it's two at a time and you're grade eight, grade eighting and playing with a fade across the whole sweater. I am thinking, and I'm thinking macro thoughts, not micro thoughts. So Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. I hope that didn't make anybody dizzy as I hit my desk again. I love you, and I will see you guys real soon. Please take care of yourselves. Find my clicker again. Bye, guys.